What's going on guys? It's Will from TechBeat TV bringing to you an unboxing and review. This is of the Monitors in Motion Mantis iPad stand. So this particular product is kind of unique in its design. It is a fully uh, aluminum stand for your iPad. So it's made out of solid aluminum. It's got a few, few unique features in it. It's got a locking uh, mechanism to kind of hold your iPad in place. And I'll show you that in a little bit. It's also got a uh, rotating 360 stand so you can adjust the angle and viewing angle and all these other things. So you can use it either in its full kind of flat uh, mode, or you can use it in the landscape mode, or you can use it in portrait mode, whatever, this stand will be able to adjust to that kind of viewing angle. So as you can see, this is the actual stand that your, or cradle that your iPad will be sitting in. There's a locking mechanism and the bottom base is a nice solid piece of aluminum that'll serve as your stand. It's got a nice wide base, so no wobble issues or anything like that. They do give you these uh, felt kind of stickies. You're going to want to put this on the bottom of your iPad stand so it doesn't move or slide about. What's great is they've got these little grooves kind of pre-drilled on the back so you won't have to do anything uh, to figure out the alignment. Me personally, I like everything kind of symmetrical and whatever. This kind of saves me the time of measuring it all so you know exactly where to place all the stickies. And in the end, it'll just be five uh, tabs all around the bottom so you won't be marring your surface and the stand won't be shifting or sliding around on the desk. Then you'll take the hex key that you've included and the uh, bolt that they give you as well to screw the base of the stand to the post of the stand where this will serve as your kind of the uh, foundation for your actual cradle. So real easy to install, it's just one bolt, slide it in, um, use the hex key to tighten, make sure it's nice and tightened uh, because if you don't, you'll get some kind of stability issues or anything like that. So just make sure you tighten it. Um, don't over tighten it, of course, but make sure that it doesn't kind of move around or feel loose in any way. So once you've installed the base, it's nice and sturdy. Um, you won't be able to knock this thing over. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty got a, a substantial uh, base to it with that aluminum build. The actual uh, post itself has got a rotating 360 as well as a 90 degree adjustment angle. We'll be able to see that in a little bit. Again, made out of solid aluminum, so it does feel substantial. It, the quality and the finish look great. Uh, no issues there whatsoever. The cradle itself is kind of a four prong skeleton design. Uh, what's great is, all the corners as well as the centerpiece have felt uh, lining on them so you won't be marring, won't be rubbing against any of the aluminum panels um, on your iPad so no worries about scratching or scuffing. Um, the fit is actually, I mean, really great. There is a locking arm on the back as you can see. Um, when you slide it back and forth, the actual arms will extend a little bit and then contract a little bit depending on locking. So you'll get a nice snug fit. And when you slide it in, it works great. Um, there's not a lot of movement whatsoever or wobble. Um, the only bummer is this cradle doesn't really accept anything, but it will take a uh, iPad smart cover. But if you got a bulky case, it won't work with this particular cradle. Um, installation of the cradle into the post is relatively easy. There's two hex bolts on either side. One controls the angle adjustment and one controls kind of the tension uh, with regards to adjusting that angle uh, into the post itself. Uh, another, a little bit of a, a bummer with this is I was hoping for a little bit better adjustment to tension. Um, once you tighten them, um, it's very easy to either over tighten them or keep it too loose where you won't get uh, that perfect kind of um, adjustment and angle. So a little bit of time was taken to adjust these bolts. I was hoping for a better ease of tension adjustment for uh, the post itself. Locking mechanism worked great. Um, what happens is you just take your iPad, you slide it into the cradle, and when you swipe, it'll basically pull all four of those uh, posts in, and it'll be really snug against your iPad. It's not going to be coming out of there. You can watch movies, you can type, or do whatever you want, um, or even play a, a game with somebody else because you can make it fully parallel with your table so you can try any games with two players or anything like that. So it's nice, really quick to install. Again, the only bummer is you really can't use any other case but a smart cover on this because um, any bulkier cases will, will probably not work 
with this particular stand. Overall, I really enjoyed using the Mantis iPad stand from Monitors in Motion. Uh, build quality was fantastic, fit and finish, everything was really great. The only downside was that tension adjustment. It's a little bit harder to adjust that tension than I would have liked. Um, again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit up that subscribe button. And if you can like and favorite the video as well, I'd really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys real soon in the next video. Later.